Oh boy, are we excited here at Comic Vantage today. We are back with another eBay mystery box episode. Yes, I purchased a mystery box of 100 random comics from eBay. And we're going to open them up and I'm going to show you what's in them. Oh, the last one I did of these, if you guys have not seen that video, it was so much fun. I had an absolute blast. Everybody who's watched it has absolutely loved it. They thought it was just so much fun as well. Now, this uh, box, I do put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing one yourself. It is a total of, oh, I don't even know, $46 with shipping included for 100 books. Now, you're not going to get rich off these things, people. There aren't like million dollar books in here. But the last box had a couple like $10 and a $20 book in it. So I was incredibly shocked. It sort of paid for itself. I couldn't believe it. And now I purchased another. I'm going to try to do these once a month. I have a lot of fun with them. Uh, so let's get started. Let me grab, I forgot my little X-Acto blade over here. Meow. Let me go ahead and just slice this open. Meow, meow. Usually there are four packs individually wrapped of 25 books and a lot of styrofoam peanuts. <laughs> I hate styrofoam peanuts. Oh, the bane of my existence, styrofoam peanuts. All right. I'm just going to pull these out, get them all stacked up. Once you have one out, though, it's easy to get the rest. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody watched my last one of these? It's uh, funny. After I did my last episode, I had a comment that someone said... They were watching my channel specifically for these. I think I've done, I don't know, six or seven of them. And I just happened to put another one up that exact same day that they subscribed. So, it's been about four weeks since the last one. So, one month. Now, what's kind of fun is I'm going to try something different on this video. Is I am doing a premiere. So, you guys are out there watching this with me in the chat right now. So much fun. All right. So, there we go. Also, today's video is sponsored by the letter C for coffee. <laughs> mm. Let's put that over there. Let's get started. All right, first pack of books. And it's funny because the last one that I did, the first pack was so good. I was worried the rest weren't going to keep up. So I stopped, you know, opening it and went right to the next stack. And they all were just that good. All right, so we're just going to pop this here. Actually, let's pop this here. Now let's start opening them. What do we got first? Nash, issue number one from Image Comics. The hell? I have never seen or heard of this book. Oh, because it's Kevin Nash, the wrestler. <laughs> That's interesting. When did this come out? 1999. I have never heard of this, people. Wow, that's actually kind of fun. There we go. See that? Beautiful. And with the scissors out of the way, I'm not going to need those anymore. I'm just going to start stacking the books over here. What do we got next? Layla, the Many Deaths of Layla Star. Issue number two from Boom Studios. Anything that comes out from Boom Studios, I'm always up for reading because it's always so good. Slash and Burn number one from Vertigo. I have never heard of that, but it's a Vertigo book, so I will definitely read that. January 2016. I love that cover, too. Mortal Coil, issue number two from Mermaid Comics. That screams 90s. I gotta look at this. <laughs> ah, let's see. What do we got here? I have never heard of Mermaid Comics. I have never heard of Mortal Coil. There we go. Classic black and white. Classic 90s artwork. A lot of artists drew the exact same way in the 90s. Come on, open it up here. Let's get Mortal Coil issue number one. 1995. There we go. I have never seen this book. Keith Davis inking, or penciling and inking. Interesting. Oh, yeah, this is definitely classic 90s. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yep. Never heard of it. Never saw it before. 
going in the personal collection. <laughs> I'm going to toss that right there. What's next? Oh, I've actually seen this before from Image Comics. I think somebody's got a 50 cent price tag on that. I think I actually spotlighted this once on my channel when I did my weekend or my uh, weekly new comic book day videos. Hotline Miami Wildlife, issue number three from Behemoth Comics. Another one I have never heard of. Man, I love getting books I've never heard of. Year Zero, now this I have heard of. Year Zero is an absolutely amazing read. If you guys are not reading it out there, you need to pick this up. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Hey, Batman Superman, issue number 31. Some more Batman Superman, issue number 30. Are you going to be issue number 29? Ha ha! Called it! Let's see, what is this? Nope. I thought I was going to have issue number 20 or 28. <laughs> we have Aria issue number two and Aria issue number one from Image Comics and Avalon Studios. What year we got on that? 1999. That's when they started experimenting more with computer coloring and started getting real artsy. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, here we go. That screams 90s. Angela Glory, issue number one, Rob Liefeld cover. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> go to the extreme. Oh, God, I love it. So good. This was my heyday of collecting right here. 1996. Look at that. Story, Rob Liefeld. Script, Rob Napton. Pencils, Roger Cruz and Danny Meeky on inks. That's a combo right there. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Roger Cruz is actually an amazing artist. It's funny how him and Joe Mad back in the day kind of... Hey, hey. Hi there. <laughs> him and Joe Mad back in the day. Had sort of a, a little rivalry back and forth where Joe Mad used to accuse him of swiping. It was interesting. I'm sure you can find information about all of that out on the internet somewhere. Adventures of Superman, year one. Why does Superman look so weird? I don't even know what to say about that. That is just... Oh, but it's a Walt Simonson cover. Really? Okay. I'm going to pass on that one. Superman, February 2nd. Oh, Grant Morrison and Frank Whiteley. Look at that. DC All-Stars. Now that would probably be interesting. I'd be up for reading that. Oh, Legends of the Dark Knight, issue number 24 from November of 1991, people. Howard Chaikin and Gil Kane. Now that is a combo. Wow. Man, that's gorgeous. I think I need to read that one. Oh, look at that. The Legend of the Dark Might. <laughs> oh. God, the 90s were so much fun, people. I know a lot of people out there, they actually, you know, they, they kind of razz on the 90s and how it was like, I don't know, everything was over the top and kind of crazy. But man, then you got gems like this. Seriously, the 90s were such a renaissance for comic books. It was so much fun. All right, Wonder Woman, issue number 24, or 54. The Righteous Wrath of Rustum. One dollar. <laughs> okay, and we got Wonder Girl, issue number one. The variant cover. It's actually one I've never seen before. Possible that might be worth a few bucks. We'll stick that to the side. Take a look at that a little later. All right, the Titans issue number three from DC Comics. Huh. Comics Code Authority. You don't see those anymore. Justice League issue number fifty-two. What is that price tag on there? The New Man of Steel. I don't know if that's supposed to say 65 or 85 or just 35 or 5. 
I, okay, I'm actually curious. So I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to head to the internet. And we're going to take a look. Be right back. Okay, well, I think somebody mispriced this. Uh, I'm seeing this book pop up on eBay for about $4. There is a recalled error variant where this text is missing. So I guess it got released without the, Meet the New Man of Steel, and it was recalled, and there was an error, but some still got out there. So that's the, I think somebody just messed that up and thought they had the good one, and they did not. So, all right. Next up, I saw this. Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, the premiere edition from 1995. Man, Fleer Ultra, these were amazing cards back in the day. They were actually thick, like card stock, and they were fully painted or colored or just awesome. They were so much fun. But... That's because this is on a Gen X issue number 51, I believe. Nope, issue number 6. Sorry, I don't know why I thought 51. I'm thinking of that one. All right, issue number 6. Absolutely beautiful. Man. Created by Scott Lobdell and Chris Bacalo. Bacalo. With Mark Buckingham. Absolutely lovely. I loved this series back in the day. Gen X, man. It was so much fun. It was a great read. And it really, you know, it spoke to a lot of us back in the 90s because we were Gen X and we we're still Gen X, but, you know. Absolutely gorgeous. Start to finish. I love the entire series. It's so good. All right, what else is next? Hey, Excalibur, issue number 87. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is fun. X-Men, The Age of Apocalypse, the Extra Edition. What the hell is the Extra Edition? No barcode. Oh, the barcode's on the back. What? The end, because the, uh, there never was a beginning. So cool. And I would like to know what this Extra Edition means. If anybody out there knows what that means and can fill me in, let me know. That's actually very cool. I like that. I'm going to put it back here because I want it. I don't think I've ever seen it. All right, and the last book in the first 25 is A Calculated Man, issue number one from Aftershock. Aftershock is another one of those awesome indie companies that I will read anything from because you can guarantee it's going to be amazing. All right, let's go to the second stack. Next 25 books. Lots of noise. All right, let's start at the back. Hey, Wetworks issue number 10. If I'm not mistaken, I got this in my last stack. But I will never turn down a Wetworks comic book. Man, these were so great to read. Such a good story. Oh, look at this. Wetworks issue number two as well. I love Wetworks. So good. Man, are we going to have a nice little run of Wetworks here? I do hope so. I'd like to like, sit down and reread those. Haha, -ha. Wetworks issue number four. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Are you kidding? What works issue number one? Oh, I got my... Okay, now I just need issue number three. Oh, let's take a look. Issue number 25. Ah, uh, no issue number three? Come on now. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. One, two, four, ten. Come on, I couldn't get issue number three and issue number 25. Why couldn't I get issue number three? Maybe I'll have one in this stack here. But wow, that actually makes it worth it. The rest of these, I'm gonna put this in my my little pile back here. I'm really getting a nice little collection of books. Wild Star issue number three, Gordon and Ordways. Look at that. That's cool. I love 90s image comics. Project Superpowers issue number zero. 
And that is a 10, yes, this book was 10 cents. I remember when this came out. Um, if I'm not, I don't know if this was a Matina or a, or a Perillo. I think it's a Matina cover. And it was only 10 cents. 10 cents for a comic book. And like I said, this was maybe five years ago when this came out. They really wanted people to read it. Mosaic issue number three from Marvel Comics. What are you? The Wild Storm issue number seven. And this was starting to reintroduce some of those old Wildcats characters that came out that Jim Lee brought over to DC. I mean, it was okay. wasn't the greatest read, but I still liked it. Saga issue number 48. One of the greatest indie comics ever written right here. Saga is just a beautifully written story. So much fun. Symmetry, issue number three. Actually, there's two copies of Symmetry in there. I can see them. All right. Buy one, get one. Wetworks, issue number 15. All right, now I'm thinking I need to just grab all the Wetworks and just keep them all together in one stack. Yes, all right. Because there might be more. Oh, look at that. Wetworks, issue number seven. That's a beautiful book. Man, I remember buying these on the newsstand when they came out. So good. Cross Gen Chronicles, issue number seven. And Cross Gen actually hit the scene back in the late 90s, early 2000s. They had some fun reads. They had some okay reads. They had some really bad art choices uh, for a couple of their books. But uh, Cross Gen is where I got introduced to Steve McNiven. And wow, man, what a great artist there. Wetworks, issue number six. Hey, we showed this last time with the Gene Simmons boots. <laughs> ah, so good. What's up next? Issue number 22 of Wetworks. Look at that. Okay. Hey, R.A. Salvatore's Demon Wars Trial by Fire. Uh, there's a Kickstarter uh, that he is doing right now, uh, putting out his Demon Wars series again. I love this book series. It's one of the best reads I've ever say, seen. Hey, Asylum number 11 from Maximum Press. Looks like Overkill in there. It totally is. It's funny because Overkill was created in part with Rob Liefeld, and that's why he gets to use him. So good. Got some Megaton Man. I got some Blindside, some Lethal. And this bag and board is trashed. We'll get a new one for that. Warlands issue number one from Image Comics. What else? Oh, hey, Zen, the Intergalactic Ninja, issue number one. Oh, man, that is so cool. From Archie Comics, Zen is amazing. Uh, Dan Cote, Steve Stern, two great guys. The creators absolutely love them. Um, I've got to meet them several times over the years. All right, we got some Eternity Comics here with X-Mutants Universe Anthology, Shattered Earth, issue number nine. Eternity gave us Evil Ernie first company that ever printed him manifest destiny issue number seven another story i've never read and always wanted to Let's see what else we got here wild star issue number two coming at you gordon and ordways hey wild star issue number one another book that i actually showed last week or last month and Wildstar issue number four as well. Absolutely beautiful. Love these books. Man, 90s images image were just the best. All right, next stack. Next 25 books. Uh, I gotta say, I'm having so much fun with these. I'm really glad everyone out there is enjoying them. Just keep me motivated getting these things. All right, next up, Cyber Force issue number 23. Look at that. That's a cool cover. All right, next up. Oh, that one actually looks pretty old. It's because I saw the Ultron video game ad on the back. It says it's from 1982. What's the book? Survey says Night Force, the origin of the Baron. 
issue number 13. The new DC, there's no stopping us now. Next up, Girl Scouts Magic Socks. <laughs> Happy 25th Anniversary Spawn. It's the Happy 25th Anniversary cover for Girl Scouts. That is actually too funny. Oh, I love that. That's issue number one. So cool. Next up, hey, the 10th, issue number four. Good old Tony Daniels right there. It's funny, this guy's artwork has really evolved over the years. It's gotten really good. Oh, this is Dark Horse Comics. Must be after he left Image. Interesting. Had no idea he released these on Dark Horse as well. 2001, it says. All right, next up. Solar, the Man of the Atom, issue number 21. The absolutely terrible bag and board. We got some Joe Quesada and Jimmy Palmiotti going on in that cover. Right there. From 1993. Oh, what is this? Razor, issue number two. Sorry, Razor Burn, issue number two. With the Jim Valiant video, or, uh, cover. Didn't expect to see a Razor book in here. I actually got to know Everett Hart so really well because we both lived in Las Vegas because we run into each other a lot at different cons and stuff. Maybe I'll bust out some of my original artwork I got for him and show you guys. Alright, we got Launch Presents The Conscience, issue number one. <laughs> Chuck Morris, the Karate Cat. <laughs> this is from Elsewhere Productions. I have never seen this book in the history of ever from 1987. Oh, I've got a buddy that would just love this book. All right, I got to put that aside. Oh, okay. Poison Ivy issue number two from DC Comics. Another recent book. Got here Fantastic Four issue number 39. The Fly Outbreak, number one from IDW. Let me grab some coffee here. Mm. Ah, good stuff. It's a chilly day, so coffee's always good on a chilly day. And I uh, spiced it up a little bit with some cinnamon. Ooh. All right, Tomahawk, issue number one from Vertigo. Hey, The Boys, issue number 43. <laughs> Didn't expect to see any boys in here. Ralph Snart Adventures. Mr. Lizard Returns from Now Comics. <laughs> I have no idea what this book is. I have never seen that. 1989, Mark Hansen. Oh, okay. Hey, a hero. Special edition, the most 100 important comics of all time from May of 1994. Oh, it's literally just a magazine with what they think the most important comics were. Ever. Huh. Nothing exciting there. All right. Next up, Sigil, issue number 21. Again, from CrossGen. We got some awesome CrossGen books popping up here. Mira Cyber Angel from Eternity Comics, issue number three. Mira actually has just been, uh, Mira X has just been coming back. A little revamp, doing a Kickstarter, bringing her back. Huh, very cool. I like that. Heirs of Eternity, issue number four from Image Comics. Again, another book I've never heard of. Man, we have some good books coming through here. The Authority from Wildstorm, issue number four. What do we got here? Punks, the comic, issue number one from Image. Another one I have never heard of. Hey, a gear station issue number one. And this is my buddy Dan Frega's book. Uh, yeah, uh, another guy that I have gotten to know, know over the years. Him and I met at an amazing Las Vegas Comic Con about five or six years ago. Completely hit it off. So 
you know, we chat every so often. I help him out on his channel sometimes. And, you know, he's actually just an all-around a really good guy. Really like Dan Vrega. Cerebris, Mothers and Daughters, issue number five. And this is uh, actually issue number 155. It must be like part five to this series or little story. Man, Cerebus is such a great, fun book. It's been around a long time. More Cyber Force, issue number four. Mark Silvestri coming at us. Featuring Ballistic, Side Blade, Heat Wave, Impact, Ripclaw, Striker, and Velocity. Wow, there's an old Justice League. I'm going to put this back here. Looks like we have to start a second stack before that falls over on us. Secret Origins of the Justice League International. I wonder what year this is. November 34. Or number 34 from... I don't have a year on it. Oh, no. Looks like an 80s book, though. Okay, what else we got here? Outcast, issue number 5. 12 issue future shocker. Oh, I was supposed to start a second stack, wasn't I? Hey, Xena Warrior Princess, issue number one from Dark Horse Comics. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, that's hilarious. Stillwater, issue number six. Chip Zerdesky. This is from also Skybound, so that'd be Image Comics. All right, last stack. Let's see what else we have in here. All right, let's see what we got up first here. We have Batman Detective Comics, issue 1032. Hush, little Robin, don't say a word. All right. What else we got? Undiscovered Country, issue number 10. Undiscovered Country is a fun read. New Gen, New Dawn, limited edition. Not for resale? Presented by Marvel Custom? What is this? Huh. I have no idea. Hold on a second. Okay, so apparently this book is kind of a ghost. I can't find any information on it anywhere. I haven't even seen one for sale on eBay in the last 60 or 90 days and none available for sale right now. So if anybody has any, any information on it, I'd love to know. All right, I'm just going to put that to the side for now. We'll keep that. Next up, X Factor, issue number 57. Oh, that's classic right there. So cool. Andy Kubert. Beautiful. I wonder who did the interior work. Can you do that as well? Andy Kubert Prenzler. So good. It's funny when his when Joe Kubert opened their school for comic art, their first two students were Andy and Adam. <laughs> All right. Heartbreakers issue number two from Dark Horse Comics. Infestation, a Dungeons and Dragons series, issue number one. That's fun. Oh, here's something from Eclipse. Scout, Timothy Truman Scout, from 1987, issue number 21. Oh, that's some amazing artwork. I've never seen this book. Timothy Truman, creator and storyteller. Absolutely. Beautiful. Oh, that is just way too cool. Man, I love it. Wow. Sometimes you just run across some gems, just kind of take your breath away. All right, next up The Darkness, issue number 11. Coming at you. Mark Silvestri work. Jim Starlin's Breed, issue number five. Man, Breed is so cool. I love this story. And it was neat because if you collected all these issues uh, from Bravora back in the day, you can get gold and silver versions of Breed. I actually had Jim Starlin sign a whole run of these for me several years back. So good. Codename Strike Force, issue number two. Huh. 
Samuri, Mistress of the Martial Arts from Windjammer, October number one from Acclaim Comics. So good. Vlad Dracul, issue number one from Scout Comics. Why do they have a $15 price tag on that? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> Well, maybe at one time this was $15, but this is a second printing of this book, so apparently it's sold really well. But yeah, they're only a couple bucks on eBay now. Next, Vogue issue number one. Look at that. Man, more 90s image comics from 1995. Oh, so good. That was a year out of high school, really getting into comic collecting by that time. Grit, issue number one from Scout Comics. Again, Scout Comics is one of those companies I will read anything from. Scout, Oni, Boom, Aftershock. They are always amazing reads. The Silver Coin, issue number one. The Ticket. Inkblot, issue number one. Well, we got Emma Kubert. Hey, there's the next generation of Kuberts right there. We got Joe... Andy, Adam, and now Emma. Bloodstrike Brutalist, issue number 24. <laughs> That's some crazy stuff right there. Hey, Warrior, issue number 3, Ultimate Creations from the Ultimate Warrior comic books. <laughs> oh, yeah, that screams 90s right there as well. Jeez, look at the size of his arm. We're talking Rob Liefeld proportions right there. <laughs> All right. Dolls, issue number one from Image Comics. Actually seems like a more recent book. That's a nice bag and board on that. All right. The Closet, issue number one from Tinian. This has got to be a horror. And if it's Tinian, it's going to be good. I need to read that. Ogre. Issue number two of four for Gang Ogre Gang Wars. What year are you? Man, that's a crazy indie book. Somebody put that in a nice bag and board as well. It's so cool. Man, I love finding these little gems. Red Atlantis, issue number one from Aftershock Comics. We only end... We only end them when they're dead. Interesting. Yeah, we only find them when they're dead, issue number three. Sorry. Because I read the first issue of this. This is a really good book. Oh, wow. Okay. Another one that goes on my must-read list. What are you? Art Brute Unabridged, issue three. That is really cool. Never seen that before, but that looks like a lot of fun. Looks like we only have two books left, people. Let's see what they are. The Avengers, United They Stand, in the grip of doom. Watch on the Fox Kids Network. And, last but not least... <laughs> Action Comics 1044, DC Pride. Oh, what a way to end this. <laughs> Alright, people. That's it. Those are all the books that I got. Some fun stuff, some not-so-fun stuff, but wow. The big hits are X-Men, the extra edition, and this whole run of Wetworks. Oh man, starting with issue number one. I need to read this. So it wouldn't be hard to fill in the blanks once you have a nice little start like this. All right, people, that's it. That's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the premiere. And uh, like always, make sure you sub up to my channel. I'm going to start doing these like once a month because these are just way too much fun. Although I'm going to get a huge surplus of books and I have no idea what to do with them all once I start getting them going. Um, hmm, interesting. Anyway, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subbed to the channel, hit the little CB right there and make sure you hit the little bell so you get my notifications. If you are subbed, guys, thank you so much. You're awesome. And uh, like always, thank you so much for watching and take it easy.